every day. For this week, we are going to discuss about comets, asteroids, and meteors. Our goal this week is to characterize comets, meteors, and asteroids, and we have to identify their distinct features. Also, we are going to describe the changes that happen to comets, asteroids, or meteor as they heat or enter the Earth's atmosphere. You will also be performing a simulation of the impacts of asteroids and comets on Earth by performing the activity found in your module. Then you, you will present observations on simulating the impacts of asteroids and comets by drawing or by making some illustrations. Let us begin with asteroids. Asteroids are rocky or metallic objects revolving around the sun. They are believed to be remnants or leftovers during the formation of the solar system. They are also called planetoids or minor planets. We also have different types of asteroids and these ones are based on their composition. So the first is the C-type or the carbonaceous asteroid. You will know them if they are grayish in color and they are actually composed of large amount of carbon aside from rocks and minerals within them. Also, we have the S-type or the siliceous asteroid which are greenish to reddish in color and they contain iron and silicates. And we have M-type or the metallic asteroid which is reddish in color and they seem to be made up of nickel and iron. So this is your grayish, your greenish, and your reddish. You can also classify asteroids as to their location. So the first one is the main asteroid belt, where we can find majority of the known asteroids. Now, this main asteroid belt is actually found between Mars and Jupiter. Another one is here. We have the Trojans. Now, these asteroids share an orbit with a larger planet, but they do not collide with it because they gather around two special places in the orbit. And aside from that, gravity is very strong that they do not get off their orbits. Then, we have near-Earth asteroids. These objects have orbits that pass close by that of Earth. And asteroids that actually cross Earth's orbital path are known as Earth crossers. We are done talking about asteroids. Now let's have another type of space rock, which are meteoroids. So what are meteoroids? Meteoroids are lumps of rocky or metallic materials that also orbit the sun. They are actually fragments that result from the breakup of comets or collision between asteroids. Now, when a meteoroid enters the Earth's atmosphere, there is friction between air molecules in that particular meteoroid. And as a result, the meteoroid would release light. And that light phenomenon is now called meteor. Or, we better know them as falling stars or shooting stars or in the Philippines, they are called bulalakaw. So what is a meteor? Meteor is actually a streak of light in the Earth's atmosphere. Sometimes, a meteor is not completely burned. So a part of it falls onto the surface of the Earth. Now we don't call it a meteor anymore, but we call it a meteorite. In the previous slide, you've heard about meteoroids, but you've also heard about meteors and meteorites. So are they the same or do they have differences? Actually, they have difference. And what is this difference? The difference is where we can find them or their location. So we call it a meteoroid if it is still in the outer space. Now, once it reaches the Earth's atmosphere, it will now be called a meteor. And once it touches the Earth's surface, it is now called a meteorite. So I have here a diagram which could possibly help you better understand the differences between these three. 
So if it's in the space, we call it a meteoroid. If it is within the Earth's atmosphere and it produces a streak of light, it's called meteor. And finally, if it touches the surface of the Earth, it is called a meteorite. We also have different types of meteors, and these are the most common ones. First, we have Earth grazers, which have long and colorful tails, and they streak close to the horizon. Please refer to the diagram on the right side. Another, we have fireballs, which are actually larger and with longer streaks, and are brighter as compared to Earth grazers. Finally, we have bolide, which are brighter and more massive than fireballs. We also have what we call meteor shower, wherein meteors fall through the atmosphere in a relatively short time and parallel trajectories. We also have what we call a meteor storm. This is actually a very intense meteor shower. Now let's discuss another type of space rock. This time, let's talk about comets. Comets are cosmic snowballs of frozen gases, rock, and dust. They are also called dirty snowballs, and they may move very slowly and may remain in the sky for several weeks. We can classify comets as two short period comets or the long period comets. Now we call them short period comets if they orbit the sun in less than 200 years. They are believed to have originated from the Kuiper belt which is found between the orbit of Neptune and Pluto. Then for long period comets, they orbit the sun for thousands or even millions of years. They are believed to come from the Oort cloud which is beyond Pluto. So the diagram here would tell you where you can find the Kuiper Belt and the Oort Cloud. A comet has different parts. A comet is invisible since it does not produce energy and light. However, it becomes visible as it nears the sun and the eyes on it turns to gas. Here are the different parts of a comet. The coma and the nucleus comprise the head of the comet. Coma is a spherical envelope of gas that surrounds the nucleus of a comet. Nucleus, on the other hand, is the center of the comet and it contains frozen water. Thus, tail is formed by radiation from the sun. It points away from the sun. It measures up to 10 kilometers in length. Ion tail, as compared to dust tail, is less massive, but it accelerates much faster and it can measure over 100 kilometers long. Impact craters are formed when an object like asteroid or meteorite crushes into a planet or a moon or on the surface of a larger solid object. This happens when that solid object travels at super fast speed, forming a crater into where it crashes. The diagrams here would show you a meteorite crater in Arizona and a crater formed from an asteroid. Since we are done discussing about those different space rocks, try to compare and contrast asteroid from a meteor to a comet. I would like you to look into this table which would help you see the differences between an asteroid, a meteor, and a comet as to their origin, shape, size range of diameter, chemical composition, orbit, orbital period, and importance to research. I may pause this video for you to be able to read and understand what's on the table. Or, you might take a screenshot of this for reviewing later on. Okay, I hope the table was able to help you better understand the lesson. To summarize what we have discussed today, Remember that comets, asteroids, and meteoroids are the main types of space rocks, meaning they are located in outer space. Comets, asteroids, and meteoroids are sometimes referred to as NEOs or near-Earth objects. So here you can see on the diagram that comet, meteoroid, and asteroid, they are on the outer space. Meteor, once it reaches the atmosphere of the Earth and it is a meteorite if it reaches the surface of the Earth.
Now, let's see some of the effects of asteroids, comets, and meteorites on Earth. So, these space rocks are responsible for major landmarks in the Earth's history. So, some of the effects are the following. More knowledge on Earth's composition, global changes in climate, extinction of species, damage to properties, destruction. And we are done with our topic for this week. So, this week we discussed about space rocks, asteroid, meteoroid, and comets. So, at this point, I would like to test if you understood what we discussed. So, I'll be leaving you with a set word. Kindly copy and answer this. The questions are the following. Alright. I'll submit it to your teacher once you are done. That's it. Thank you for listening and watching. Goodbye.